Alrighty guys, how you doing today? Wedgie here, and I have had a great idea for Stranded Deep. Stranded Deep is one of my new favorite games. It is very visually pleasing, beautiful game, and one of the main concepts of the game is to go to other islands, explore, and survive. When you first start the game, it puts you in front of a small island. It sends you there and it has you do a couple things you know, to learn how to survive. I already know how to survive, but what I do want to know, what I do want to find out, is if I can survive on a single island. The, one of the main concepts of the game is going to other islands, getting resources, bringing them back to your home base or hub, and using them to survive and thrive. And that's what I'd like to see today. So, let's get to the first big island we can get to, and see how long we can survive without leaving the island. Alright guys, we are coming up to our first big island, and this is where we are going to stay forever. Or at least until we die from dysentery. I see at least two shipwrecks. Yeah, it looks like three if you count that hull over there. And there are some tires over here which is really nice because that means we can craft a raft even though we're never leaving the island let's check these shipwrecks out first see what we got and then we are going to do the uh, tutorial because i forgot to turn it off curated scrap oh label maker useful air tank vitamins well all that stuff will come in handy when i decide to never leave the island Maybe we can get a flashlight up here. What's in here? Bucket. That's great. I would love at least two buckets. That would be ideal. So I'm going to carry this over here to the next shipwreck. And I'm going to just drop it on the ground. It looks like there are two right beside one another. Let's hope there's a chest in this hall up here. And there is not... There almost always is. Bad luck on my end. Well, this is off to a great start. Now, eh, let's get in this boat up here. Hopefully, there's some better stuff in here. That's what I hate about swimming inside of stuff. Like that. Flashlight, that'll be really nice. And, minor tools. Nothing really great there. Let's try and get up top here. Something good, and motor parts. That is going to be great for when we decide to never leave this island. But at least we got some stuff to store our materials in. We won't have it all scattered around the ground. Let's see what else we got. I haven't seen any snakes, so that's really good. I haven't seen any boars. That's not the best. There's a tarp. Let's see if... Oh, there's another bucket. We are golden boys, we can make ourselves a water distiller. Which is one of the things I believe we need most to survive in this game. Alright, that might be it for this little island here. Not the greatest, but we're off to a fairly decent start. There's a yucca. If you don't know about yuccas, they give you fibrous leaves. Arguably one of the uh, most coveted items in the game and the yucca grow back every few days. There's another yucca. That's just fun to say. Yucca. Alright, we're gonna drop some of this junk on the ground. We got a spear already. It's a fishing spear, but it's better than nothing. Let's do what I always do with these things. And they're so very useful. This is my favorite thing to do with them. Goodbye. Literally, all you can do with them is change the name of things. Like, I could change the name of this wooden stick to say anything it wanted, and then, you know, two hours later, it would disappear, and it would still be called a wooden stick. So let's get this uh, tutorial over with. I forgot to turn it off, but it'll get us a good start and some tools built nonetheless. So we need a rock for a stone tool. Wow, we are really going through this. We are great at this game. Refined knife. I need to kill a yucca. 
Oh, got stuck on a bush. Uh, that happens to me all too often in real life. You always find a little bush before you get to where you want to go. Oh, hey, you go. There we go. Let's get this knife made. There should be another one around here. Let's kill this young palm tree. No? Oh, I guess the stone tool is just that bad. I haven't used one of them in a very long time. The knife should be better. <coughs> My inventory is full already. Wow, we we are already off to the Death Star. Uh, refined knife. There we go. And now we got to craft a campfire, which I believe just takes wood. Campfire for wood. So let's pick up some wood. We don't really want to chop too many trees down before we can get an axe built. Unfortunately, my favorite tool in the game is the refined axe. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get one of them because I saw no piggies on this island. And we have no other way to get leather unless we can manage to kill a shark. So where do we want to set this campfire? Where would be a nice open place to put our campfire? Probably over here on this beach. It would be really nice. Instead of getting rid of the junk we put on the ground, we put more junk over here. I know everything doesn't need to look perfect, you can just throw stuff around, but we are going to be surviving indefinitely on this island, so we might as well as make it look nice. Campfire time. We want to put it on some nice flat ground right here. It's probably perfect. Now we need to make a kindling, which I believe is just wood. Let's see. Oh, we'll be on tools. Kindling just wood. There we go. Use the kindling on the fire. I always thought they made this way too overdrawn and long-winded. You're gonna start the fire anyway. Don't make me sit here and click it a million times. It's very annoying. Alright. There we go. Let's look at our watch. We need a little water. You can't see with that glare. And now it wants us to kill a crab. I'll do it this time, but I don't particularly like killing crabs because crabs do not actually respawn. Um, there are male and female crabs, and they have a slightly different color. And what they do is they actually have a den that they go to at some point or another, and the male and female crabs reproduce, and then they die of old age. It's actually possible to wipe the crabs out on your island, and you don't want to do that. You want to kill them sustainably. It is, uh... It is impossible to not kill all the crabs and still have them, uh, wiped out. Because you can kill all the female crabs, and then the male crabs will eventually die from old age. Let's let them cook, and I will show you a sick trick. Yeah, sick trick. Climbing up trees to get coconuts can be very annoying, because you don't have the best angle all the time, and it luckily... A lot of these trees have coconuts. But one thing you can do that not many people know about <coughs> is hit them down with spears. So now we got a coconut and we got our spear back. Spears are pretty much unbreakable. The only way you can break a coconut, or sorry, break a spear is by hitting it into a rock. Throw it into a rock, it'll break. We're gonna try to do it, or try not to do that at all costs. And I'll, we'll just leave that there. If I break it, it has a chance to rot. If I just drink it and drop it, it will not rot. I don't know how it works, but it works with all things. If I would have let that crab sit, it would not have gotten rotten. If I let the meat sit, it will get rotten. 
Alright, so it wants us to build a shelter. Four palm fronds, wood sticks, and lashes. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down all these yuccas so they respawn hopefully sooner than later. I believe it takes about two days for them to respawn. And then we are going to work on building an axe before we sit here and chop down the palm trees. Now, palm trees can regrow. I, if I'm not mistaken, all young palm trees can turn into full-sized ones. It just takes a very long time. And that dinner is done. Are we hungry yet? Not yet. So we are not going to eat it right away. Hopefully we get hungry before it spoils. Alright, so we're going to get these down so they regrow faster. These fibrous leaves are very important. I'm surprised we got an island with three or four yucca, it looks like. I already broke one down and earlier, and here were two more. If I'm not mistaken, there's another one over here. Or is this the one that I broke? It might be. Either way, three yuccas is just fine for me. Let's see. It's driftwood. A lot of young palm trees. A tarp. Anything else we missed? Ooh, another bucket. Nice. That looks like everything. Alright. Well, three yuccas is plenty of yucca for me. Let's see what we need to make an axe. Obviously, we'll never, we'll never get a refined one, but we can get a few. We need two sewn tools and a lashing. We can make the lashing right away. There are lots of rocks on this island. Luckily, you can get some islands with one or two rocks on the entire thing. And that would not be good for trying to be self-sustaining. Rock. I thought there were lots of rocks in this island. Uh-oh. There's a crab that was probably in a different nest than the other crabs, which will be nice. Actually, a lot of people don't know we can do this. Let's make ourselves a spear. Right? Oh, nope, no wood. Oh, the bird's gone anyway. You can actually kill the birds. And I know what I was thinking. You have a fishing spear in your inventory. Well, fishing spears, my friend, do not do as much damage as a normal crude spear does. A crude spear does, like, twice as much damage. I have thrown fishing spears at birds already, and they have just flown away. It was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. So, you need a crude spear, and one crude spear will take care of a bird. Alright, so for the axe, I need to make some stone tools, and then I can make a crude axe. Okay, Alright, now we need a shelter, and what do we need for that? We need four, four palm fronds, and a lashing, and some sticks. So let's see, we can already make the lashing. Luckily, now we need to chop down a palm tree. Which one do we want to chop? Probably a small one. I want to use... Ah, no, actually, we'll make a big one. Or we'll cut down a big one. That way, we can get to the small ones a little bit easier. Their coconuts are better. And we don't got to cut down as much later. Because we'll get a lot more wood from this than we would from a small tree. And there we go. That is why I like the axe. I will still be chopping for another 15, 20 seconds if I don't have the axe. Oh, and my inventory is full again. Is my character, yep, my character is finally hungry. So we're going to eat that small meat before it rots. Why do I keep opening that? Let's get rid of that stick. Let's lay this bucket on the ground somewhere close in case it rains. Now, what we'll make next is a water distiller. Not a water distiller, a solar distiller. They are much more useful than a water distiller in my opinion. Alrighty, so let's get our palm fronds.
Now this would be if you're just starting the game, or you haven't started it, and you're interested in starting it. This is actually all the stuff you want to do right in the beginning. I don't recommend going to the little island. I recommend going to a big island, getting a home base set up. So this will be a really nice uh, video if you're just starting the game, if you're not entirely sure what to do, if you want some more structure than the uh, tutorial gives you. Because I know a lot of people seeing them play, they don't know you can throw spears or trying to stab with them. The, they don't know you can kill the bats. Uh, well, I didn't even show you guys, but I will try and get a bat eventually. You can kill birds. You can kill pretty much anything alive, except for the coveted whale. The whales have an infinite amount of health. You can never kill them. But everything else you can kill, even if it looks like you can. Uh, great white sharks have a ridiculous amount of health, but they can be killed. Now, I'm looking for sticks, and I know I got a flashlight somewhere around here. I was very fortunate to get one. They are so much better than spears. I thought I had a flashlight. Oh no. Did I leave it behind somewhere? Quick not. Air tank. Hmm. Oh, there it is. They're so much better than spears because they light up in the direction that you're pointing. They never run out of energy. You don't need to keep making more. And torches are fairly useless. Um, if you drop them, they're done. You gotta go all the way back to camp and relight them. For these, you do not. Now these are not as good as lanterns. They shine better and you get better light. But you can drop a lantern and it will still light around what you're doing. These, if you drop it, if you wanna work and you drop your uh, torch, you're done. You're in the dark again. But it's not the worst thing in the world. And it has its benefits over a uh, lantern as well. Like I said, better lighting. You can shine it in the direction you want to shine it. So I think that's everything we need for a shelter. Let's get back to our camp and see. Alright, so we have we need a lashing. I think I created one already. There it is. Now where do we want to put this? This is only going to be temporary. Um, I'm going to see about making a bed later. And then we'll destroy this, because there's no need for it. Let's put it somewhere back here against the rock wall. Somewhere safer, you know. Not that we're really in danger. But let's try and get all immersed in this, my friends. Oh, it's a little bit bigger than I remembered it being. Let's see. Put it there? That would be a little awkward because of the size of it. Let's see. Put it right there is fine. Alrighty. So that's the only place we can save. It's the only place we can sleep. Let's see, are we sleepy yet? Nope, but we're getting thirsty. Oh, we got the tutorial done. That's one thing out of the way. Let's see what we can do next. Fire pit, fire spit. Let's get our solar suit put away. So we need three rocks and a tarp. And we already have two tarps, and I think we have three buckets as well. Either that or we have two buckets. We might have to get one somewhere else. But two buckets is pretty much all you need to survive. Alrighty, let's get a bucket, let's get some wood, let's build ourselves a solar still. And I'll explain how this works and how a and how a distiller works in just a second. Let's see what we need to do. We need three rocks. Why don't I pick up wood? I think it's better to get it and have it than have to go look for it later. Let's get some rocks. It seems like over here in this corner is the only place where rocks are. Uh, so we're gonna get everything we need most to survive before we worry about... Oh, can I drop anything? Nope. So we have a few rocks left, and there's some over here. But we're gonna make all the biggest necessities first before we go out of our way and get some stuff to make everything a little more comfortable or make things look nice, because we're in it to survive on a single island. Alright, so now we have our solar still. Where do we want to put 
Now, the only drawback of the solar still is that when you make it, you use a bucket. You never get that bucket back, no matter what you do. Let's see, let's put it over here. Let's put it out of the way so it's not an eyesore, but somewhere easy to get to as well. So, the bucket is going to be completely used up. But, unlike a uh, water distiller, to use a water distiller, you need two buckets. And to make it work, they need to be in use at all times. You can take the buckets away, but then you're not really getting any water. This is constantly making water, no matter what you do, and you fill it up with another bucket. So this bucket doesn't need to be here at all times. So in a few hours, we'll have some nice clean water. Alrighty. So there we got our water situation taken care of, and that should be enough to let us drink indefinitely. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I had another bucket somewhere, and what we... Uh, we have a lot of curated scrap. Maybe we can make something cool with that. But if I can find another bucket, what we are going to do is make a second one, just in case. Now, I was really hoping we would have some kuwa, is that how you say it? The fruit on this island, because... That gives you food and water, much like a coconut, but it also grows back. You don't have to crack it, and you can replant it, so we would have been able to make a little fruit farm. But I haven't seen one, and I don't think we have one. Luckily, coconuts are all you need to live, my friend. But we will also go fishing, we will get some fish, we will get a smoker, Adventure. Let's see, what do we need for a smoker? I know we need a fire pit, so we can make that. And then for a smoker, we just need a lashing and some wood. So we can definitely do that. Now, there are three different, four different ways to cook food. You can just put it on the fire, and you saw me do that earlier. You can put it over a fire pit, which is pretty much the same thing as a fire. You can put it on a spit, and that way you have no chance of burning it. You can use the hobo stove, and I've never actually made one of them. But what I assume it does is the hobo stove allows you to put more than one piece of food onto your fire, which the spit does not, without burning it. And then the smoker, what that does is it smokes your food. And that you can put as much meat as you can fit into the little thing on. It does not burn your food, and what it, it does instead is it smokes it. So it lasts a little bit longer without rotting. So we're going to go for that right away. But we're also going to make a different fire and we're going to make it out of the way. You know, we'll give ourselves a little barbecuing spot or maybe a little food and water spot. We'll probably put it over here with the uh, water distiller close by it. Uh, let's actually get this started right away. Now, like I said, I'm going to only kill crabs sustainably. You can hear a shark certainly in the water right now. Otherwise, I'm going to be going fishing, eating coconuts, and... Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Go fishing and eat coconuts. That's all you really can do. Maybe we can get a few uh, of them... Uh, what are the larger fish called? The stingrays. Those are really nice. They're really, they're actually really pretty and don't really give you much food. I believe they only give you one food. But if push comes to shove, we hungry. All right, we got three rocks. I believe that's all we need. I'm gonna check again and make sure we need a fire pit for a smoker. I know we need a fire pit for a spit. Yep. And a smoker does need a fire pit. So we're gonna need more wood. We're gonna need a lashing. First, we need the pit. Alright, so do we have five sleeves? Yes. So we have enough to make lashing. That was really nice that we had all them yokas on this island. So let's see, let's see tools. Get a lashing here. Now we just need to find some sticks. I haven't actually had any chopping any wood yet either, so we've got a fairly nice island. I'm little bummed out because I thought we had more buckets than we did. Like I said, I was hoping for two, but I thought I saw three, and I am not finding it. 
Alright. But still. Let's get some more wood. I think this is the last one we need. But while we're at it, we might as well pick up any more, because we're going to need it eventually. Let's take a quick run around the island. This flashlight is very nice. More than I could have hoped for. I hope it increases the quality of the video, because I hate watching people play Stranded Deep in the middle of the night. It's dark, they can't see what's going on, we can't see what's going on, and it's probably worse for us than it is for them. So I'm hoping it's nice for you guys. Alrighty, let's see, do we have what it takes to make a smoker? We do. Turn it? No? Oh, there. Oh no, what's wrong? Is it because the lashing's there? Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Let's have it facing... I hope that's that looks a little strange. Let's put it... There we go. Nice. So we'll have the meat part facing the water. Why'd I do that? I don't know. Maybe I should have had it facing over there where my bed and campfire is. But we're gonna have it facing this way. Let's see. We're a little bit thirsty. And we have no water yet. I'm gonna keep the bucket here in case it rains. But I guess we will... We're a little bit sleepy. We will... Go and get some coconuts so we can get a little bit of water. We have a coconut right here. Let's get a couple though. And then we will go to sleep for the night. There are the crabs. Alright, let's find ourselves some coconuts. They're very hard to see in the dark. Maybe we'll just go to some tiny tree. Some tiny little tree. Why did I do that? And this will be plenty for right now. We just use our knife. We're not using it for much at this point. So we don't want to use our axe up right away. Because we don't know how many we're going to be able to make. And like I said, we're just going to leave the coconuts there. When we get hungry, we'll break them open then. Alright, let's sleep. Let's see in the dark. We're nice and camouflaged. In case any... Pirates come by. We don't want them to get in our booty. Oh, let's go to sleep. Daytime. Let's see about saving. And it's raining. Yay! Free water. Uh, we are thirsty and we are hungry. We don't need to eat right quite yet. Um, as soon as the bucket is filled up, we will start drinking. Uh, let's see how our solar still is doing. Still nothing, that's surprising. Usually they start working right away. It's a little bit irritating. Alright, so I was going to go fishing, but obviously the water is not quite the best for that right now, so we will not go fishing. We do instead. Now, the only way we're going to be getting leather is if we can kill a shark. And I don't know how quickly we're going to be able to kill a shark, but... We'll need four lashings and some wooden sticks to refine that leather. So, hmm, let's not worry about the tanning rack until we get a shark. Because, like I said, um, much like the crabs, much like the birds and the bats, and the coconuts, as long as you don't cut them open, they will not spoil. So we can just drag the shark to land after we get it, and then we can worry about skinning it later. So let's instead make some spears. Even if I had the leather, I would not make refined spears. They just do a tad bit more damage than the normal spear, and if you hit a rock, you know, which is likely, there are rocks everywhere, it breaks. They're not indefinite. You hit the shark and it gets away and it doesn't come back. Well, you lost your spear, buddy. And oftentimes, when you... They have some really wonky physics in this game. Um, it takes a lot to kill some animals. Um, some sharks, you know, it can take up to 20 spears. So, it will be a while before you kill the shark. And then with all of them spears in one little animal, 
you know, they don't like things getting packed together. If you notice when you kill these logs, they kind of explode a little bit sometimes. It's just how the physics works, and you might lose your shark and all your spears. So we don't want that. But let's get some spears made. We'll make all the spears we can make right now. Well, no, we'll make four for now. And maybe there'll be some birds. I'll show you that we can kill a bird. Actually, I believe the fishing spear is yep, the same as a normal spear. So I might show you... There's a bird. Let's see if we can get him to land. There's nothing more ridiculous than a seagull flying around carrying a spear in the back pit skull. Because why not? And the rain stopped, so we're pretty thirsty. We don't need nothing quite yet, but the bucket should be full. And I notice a lot of people don't know you can drink more than one side of a bucket. They're throwing their buckets around, they're spilling the water. Nope, you can get five water from everything that you... from all of your drinks. It looks like we can... Or, sorry, we can get five water from a bucket, provided that it's full. Looks like we might be able to climb up some rocks too. I don't think anything ever. Ooh, there's one is. Let's see if we can. Oh, nope. But uh, it looks like we can climb up them rocks as well. Nothing ever spawns up there that I've noticed, but it'll be nice to get up there. Maybe we can craft something up there later. Let's see if we can wait for a seagull to fly back down here. Walk around a little bit now that it's daytime. Let's see. I hope I don't miss. Oh, that... That was super unimpressive. I am sorry about that one. Holy crap. Alright, so we gotta be a little bit closer. I don't know if they'll land when they're this close. I've done it before, though. I promise you that. They just fly right away. Get back here, birdie. And now you're right there. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Oh, nope. Uh, I am really bad at this. I'm sorry, guys. It sounds like there's a shark in the water already. Where is he at? Let's hope we don't get bit, though, because... Oh, there he is. Ooh, he is not happy. Wow, that was close. There's a stingray. Wow, he just barreled in towards me. Alrighty, Birdie, where are you at? After that shark goes away, maybe we'll do a little bit of fishing in some shallow water. There he is. Alright, let's aim a little upwards. And I broke my spear. Wow, you guys must think I'm excellent at this game already. I think we will let the bird go for now, but we will get him eventually, I promise you that. For now, we are going to make another spear. And we are going to do a little bit of fishing. Let's drop some of our stuff off over here, though. So we can actually carry some fish. Let's drop some of these leaves off. And you only need one spear. Um, you can stab with a crude spear, and I'm not particularly sure why. Because you can't hit any pigs. Uh, you don't really want to get close enough to try and attempt hitting a shark with a spear. Um... But you can stab with a fishing spear, and you can get small fish with it. Actually, it might be the only way to get small fish. I couldn't imagine actually hitting a tiny little fish by throwing a spear. Alright, so our solar still is working now. We got two uh, units of water in it. How many do we need? Uh, we need five units, so we're going to drink this whole thing. And then we're going to fill it up with two units of water, and just drop it on the ground. Okay. Actually, it did not rain enough to fill the bucket up, so I could just sit here and drink that right now, so I think I will. Alrighty. It's nighttime already. Wow. Let's get some fishing done before the sun sets completely. Uh, fishy here. Oh. Got one. And another one. 
Alrighty. We don't need too much food right now, so we're just going to drop them off. What I think I might do is, I want to, we have two chests. I was hoping for three. Oh, there's a nice bucket. Nice. Alright. So, let's drop some of this junk out over here. Um, let's put our fish in here for now. Actually, just to show you guys how the smoker works. Let's go over here and put them in. We're going to need wood and kindling. Now, you can actually use different types of wood or items for uh, fueling your fires. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use some driftwood. Um, driftwood isn't really used for anything other than cosmetic stuff. There's really no use for it. So we're going to find a little bit of driftwood. There's a log over here. And we are going to use that instead of wasting precious wood or palm fronds. Actually, I believe the fire might be still be full. See, there they go. That's what I'm talking about with the physics in this game. It's a little bit wonky. There's one. There's the other. Luckily, we've seen where they went. Let's get out of here. It's never fun to swim in the dark. You can never see the sharks coming. You hear that little bit of music, but you don't know how far away they are. Let's go over here. We'll just drop this wood right beside, but it should already be fueled. We didn't light it yet. And let's start this fire up. It shouldn't take too long to cook this stuff, and you can fit a lot of meat in here. And like I said, Food never stays good long. That's why I never, you know, skin my stuff right away. I never break the coconuts. Um, it never stays good very long. Even when it's cooked, it doesn't. And when it's smoked, it's supposedly a little bit longer, but it's still not really long enough to notice. Little tiny fish gets a big chunk of meat. It's still considered small and only gives one of food, though. So what you gotta do is you gotta just pick it up, and you put it over. Um, when you normally cook meat over a fire or something, it says cooked meat. This will actually say smoked meat. So it's definitely a new thing. It probably does last longer, just not long enough to notice. We are kinda hungry, but we're not gonna eat any coconuts or anything. We will hold off on that. But we got a nice little setup so far, and I think I dropped that other bucket over here. I'm not entirely sure if I want to make another distiller or not. Oh, nope, I have the other bucket here. I can make another distiller. I have the tarp to do so, and you don't really do anything else with tarp. This one seems to be going a lot slower than I expected it should, so I think we might. Does it have water yet? Nope, I thought I see one light. Alright, let's make ourselves another, not distilling, solar still. So we need rocks and a tarp. Let's get our flashlight out. Sorry about that, guys. Alright. Here's the tarp. We need some wood and some stones. So we need two more stones here. Now, I've noticed sometimes stones count as the large stones, and you're able they count as two rocks instead of one. That's why I kept checking there. Let's get over here and build ourselves another still. Maybe another thing I can do is check for some potato plants on this island. When it's light out, it's not... Potato plants aren't particularly good, but we can farm them. The reason I don't like potato plants is because if you eat a raw potato in this game, you vomit. And it doesn't give you any nutrition, which is absolutely silly. You, you should have no problem eating a raw potato. You don't in real life. 
Actually, there we go. There is a potato plant. Let's break this up. And we get three potatoes. I should not have done that. Um, the reason I shouldn't have done that was because we're not ready to farm pet. Um, we probably can be pretty soon, though. So maybe we should get on that. Now that we have two solar sills, we actually have uh, the means to water our plants and stuff. So, actually, let's go and build some farm and stuff. Farmville 2.0, my friends. Stranded Farmville. That is what they we're going to call this game. Where do we want to put our plot? What do we need? I think we need a hoe. What do we need for that? We need a stone tool and a lashing. I think I used up... Oh, there my meat is done. We'll get that first, and then we will raid on our hoe. Alright, so I'm going to need one more fungus leaf, which means we have to kill a baby palm tree. Which is my favorite thing to kill. And not the palm tree part. Ooh, that was creepy. Sorry, guys. Alrighty, let's get our meat. Meat. See, small smoked meat. Eat that right away. And need a little bit of water, but we should be fine. Now, here's one thing I want to show you guys, just so you believe me. Let's eat the potato. And you vomit. It actually made me more hungry. So, that is not good. So, let's worry about getting our hoe. Sure, it's taking us a long time to feel better. Did we get sick from that, maybe? Oh, my Yeah, that's why I don't that's one thing that I don't like about this game. That is a really silly concept. Eating a raw potato makes you vomit. I mean, if you're hungry enough, you're going to eat that raw potato, and it's going to give you nutrition. You're going to enjoy that raw potato. You might not enjoy the flavor of it, but it's going to fill your stomach, and it's going to give you energy. Right, there's a rock. Let's get our homemade. Here Fibrous leaves over there. Oh, we need a stone first. Alright, ho, 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 ho. Oh, lashing. Now we can build ourselves a hoe. Everybody loves a good hoe, my friends. Everybody. Alright, building, rafts. We're going to do that farming. Alright, let's build ourselves a corrugated plot because we have scrap and we really have nothing to do with it. I believe we can also do a plank one because I have some planks up there in the woods and I also thought I saw one on the other side of the beach. Now, if we would do a wood farming plot, we would need four sticks and a lashing. And that is definitely not what it's happening. Now, one thing I'm interested in finding out is, can we smoke a potato? We're only going to be using one potato. Oops. We're only going to be using one potato um, for this farming. So, let's see if we can smoke this potato. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to cook, but it'll be interesting to see. Where do we want to put our farming pot? This is kind of full. This is where we put our food and our water. Uh, let's see about over here on this beach. So it's out of the way. Oh, there is some more planks here. I can't really lift it right now. So let's just find a spot to put this. Right here looks perfect. This is nice and open. I probably should have put my uh, little main fire camp right here. But I didn't. Let's put our fire pot over here. That takes a little more spot. A little more room than a fire does anyway. Alright. Right there, nice and flat. Take the potato. And it is not letting us plant the potato? Why can we not plant the potato? Well, that is strange. Alright, I'm gonna let it sit there and rot, and maybe then we can plant it. I could have sworn you can plant potatoes. I know you can plant fruit. 
it would make no sense not to be able to plant a potato. Well, that was just a big waste of resources if we could not plant potatoes. But, we did have a potato plant. It'll probably grow back. That's three food right there. And, hopefully we can cook a potato too. If not, maybe we'll invest in a hobo stove. I don't know, I think we need... No, we need barrel scrap, and luckily, we have, oh, we have tires. Well, that's really nice, actually. Hmm. Yeah, we have tires. Okay, make sure I didn't miss anything in any of this. Let's give you guys some light. Sometimes they have several lockers in there. They have a small one, a large one, and a console. It's just making sure I wasn't missing a small locker. Alrighty. Well, other than our farming plot, I think we have a nice little island set up. Um, there's no boar, so we're not getting any easy leather. But there's also no snakes, so we don't gotta worry about walking around. Not really any um, fruit trees, which would have been really nice because the fruit actually give you food and water, if I haven't said so already. But we got a few potato plants, or at least one somewhere, and it should regrow eventually. We got lots of yucca. We seem to have lots of coconuts on the trees, so if push comes to shove, we'll just eat them. But we are going to try and survive as successfully as possible on this one little island. I think that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is my very first video. Um, please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. I'm going to be doing more games. I'm going to be doing this more. Maybe some tips and tricks. Um, I have a lot of stuff planned, and I want to share it all with you. So like I said, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. It means a lot to me, especially since my channel is so small right now. Have a good one.